<laughs> All right, guys, take two. Uh, welcome to Around the Town. We're having an awesome vlog today. It's Tuesday at 5 o'clock. Um, we're going to be talking football and um, all things football. We absolutely love it. I'm very excited to bring in a special guest, and he's online. I'm going to go ahead and bring him in. So hang on a second. Oh no, that's Sherry. Hey Sherry, I saw Mullins. I'm like, that's him. It's not yet, but I know he's getting online. We're having, we've had a little bit of technical difficulty just for a second, so he's on. Uh, Nick, can you see me? Let's see. He, I, we're adding him right now, so give me just a second. This is live. It's technology is amazing. I'm in Mississippi. He is in California, uh, and we started talking about this. This is connecting right now. <gasps> Hey, Nick, how are you doing? Hey, what's up? Doing well, doing well. It is so funny every time you pop on. I have a nephew, and he's like eight years old. His name is Brayden. I'm going to send you his picture. You, you guys look so much alike. Every time <laughs> I see you, I think of him, and he lives in Texas. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I'm so excited to have you as my guest at, on the, around the town in the South. And when you think about the South, you think about football, you think about dreams, and you think about you know, everything that encompasses who we are. And I i don't know if you even realize this, but I've watched you since uh, 2010. Uh, I'll give you a little bit of background of how I met you. I know you remember this, but 2010, I came to one of your ball games with uh, Sherry Mullins, who's one of my best friends, who is now your stepmother. And I got to meet you and watch you. And through the last eight years, I've got to watch you evolve into this, not only an amazing football player, just an amazing man who gives back to the community. And so when I was thinking about this around the town in the South, and everybody knows I love football, SEC, and I'm a huge NFL player, I thought about, you know, several people who I would like to come on and just tell their story, and you were number one on my list. And so <laughs> I want to thank you that, for joining you. us. I know I'm just thrilled to death. I can't even hardly speak. I'm so excited. But, um, you know, as I've listened to stories about your dad, I was talking to your dad about you, and I said, um, you know, when he when he was a kid, there has to be something that stood out. You had to have seen something different in him that he had this, uh, you know, one thing, the ability to discern things that most six and seven year old or olds don't, especially about the, the game. But he was telling me that you went to a ball game. You're about six or seven years old and you went with a, an Auburn friend of his. And then in the game, you started narrating what the play should be. And <laughs> and he just said, I just couldn't believe, you know, at that age, he saw something coachable and teachable in you that you could actually see the vision of what the, the football game actually was. And that was huge. So as, as we talk about this, I want to talk about your, your uh, when you played at Spain Park, you, you had played all sports and you excelled in every single one. When I met you, I think you were playing all sports that you had in high school. And then you started focusing on football. So tell us a little bit about how that came about and how that became your love. Uh, well, I've been playing since I was in second grade, so uh, I guess my thought process has just kind of been I'll play until somebody tells me I can't play anymore. So I uh, played second grade, third grade, all the way up, played in high school, and um, I don't know. I never necessarily dreamed of being in the NFL, but I was just going to play until somebody told me that I couldn't play anymore. So uh, here I am today. Um, it's been fun. You know, I just play because I like the game, and um couldn't get here my, without my – or I had to have help to get here, and uh, that's why I'm thankful for my family and uh, just all the friends who have supported me along the way. That is awesome, which leads me to uh, – you had a coach who has been very instrumental in, in – in, I think he's one of your mentors. He's motivated you. He's been a leader through your career. Yeah, come up just a little bit so we can hear you talk a little bit louder. Sure. Um, you had a coach that was in your high school that also came to, to, to Southern. And by the way, guys, if you don't know who this guy is, he was one of the um, quarterbacks at Southern. He went. He took Southern Miss to the top many years. A lot of my friends, when they started talking about Nick Mullins, I said, Nick, that's my Nick Mullins. That's Sherry Nick <laughs> Mullins. And how much they loved you. And, you know, I've had so many conversations with Debbie McCollum and people who followed you and came to every single game and watched you play. But tell us a little bit about how Chip Lindsey kind of helped mold you as a player and, and in the high school arena and also in the college. Well, it's uh, it's been awesome to see Coach Lindsey's rise in the coaching ranks. He uh, is now the offensive coordinator at Auburn and uh, started wow. out as just a um, high school coach. 
um, and so he high school and um, got lucky enough to reunite with him back in college. And uh, he did a great job. He's just a uh, great person, relates to his players well, and um, really just keeps his players consistent, holds them accountable for everything they do, uh, teaches them the right way, encourages them the right way. And uh, that's why he has helped me be successful. And uh, he's quite successful himself now being at Auburn. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm from Mississippi State fan, Auburn. And, of course, all things SEC. And when I moved back in nine years, of course, I added Southern, and I hate to say it, Ole Miss, too. But, you know, I hate to say that. But, anyway, those are my Ole Miss fans. But when you were in high school, you, you received an award that um, is, is, is just in the top, and that was the Gatorade. Tell us about that Gatorade award and what it meant to receive something like that. Player of the Year. Uh, yeah, that award was cool. Um, it was Gatorade Player of the Year. And um, I'll just thank uh, my receivers for catching the ball so much. You know, that was a while ago. <laughs> that was a while right. ago, but I remember so much about it. Um, all the guys that caught the balls and blocked, you know, we're all still really good friends. And uh, so I think we were just such a good team because we were so close in high school. And uh, so that was definitely a prestigious honor and uh, definitely helped me, um, you know, just keep being successful. That is awesome. I love that you said team because um, – you get it. You get that you have the team behind you, and you can't do anything without the team, whether it's in life, family, marriage, your career, whatever. You have to have that that support system, and I absolutely love that. That's and that's part of the aroma that I love about you. And when you speak, I mean, you can tell you you can tell your heart, and your heart is in this game. So, tell me your story on how you decided that Southern would be your college home. And I've uh, not heard this story. So yeah, I, I it was like. Um... My recruiting process was a whirlwind. You know, I um, I didn't have a lot of offers. I um, had one offer going into the summer of my senior year, um, and then I had a good senior season, and uh, I got offered by UAB, um, and I thought that was going to be the only offer that I had for a while or that I was going to get. So I committed to UAB, and then uh, the Southern Miss coaches convinced me to take a visit to Southern Miss, and uh, everything just kind of factored in the right way. Uh, they ran a really nice offense that I liked. Um, they have a great business school, obviously a pretty strong football tradition. And uh, so I just thought it was the best opportunity for me and um, struggled a little bit in the early years, but uh, finished strong my last two years. And uh, so definitely thankful for uh, Southern Miss, and I'm a huge Southern Miss fan now. So. I know. I love that. I absolutely love it. So while, were you, while you, were, you were in college and high school too, I know you had some things that you gave back to the community you tell us a little bit, and part of this in the South, and, and when I'm talking to people, I love when people, they start living their dreams, they start giving back in different areas, whether it's working with kids in camp. You know, I love when I saw your, your photo of you serving the homeless. I mean, it brought tears to my eyes because, you know, in everyday life, a lot of people won't take that time to do that. They don't give back. They don't appreciate what they have. So give us give us a little bit about that. I know you sent me some emails. You worked with some uh, I think you did some things at the church um, there in, in Hoover. And I think you still go back and do some things. They have some kind of weekend that you go back to. Uh, what yes, is that ma'am. called? Yeah. Um, there's just a whole string of things. You know, if you play football long enough, you're going to have opportunities off the field to help as well. So uh, in high, and I was, I was the youngest kid growing up. I was the youngest in my family, older brother, older sister. And then I had older athletes that I always looked up to. So I was, all, I was always trying to be like them. And uh, I, saw, I had some good role models. And so um, just growing up and then playing ball, you get to help people out. So uh, whether it's helping out at camps uh, that I've helped out at over the years um, in high school, um, I used to volunteer at the elementary schools and read um, and just counsel and people, was, just, just hang out with kids in now college. That, was that, it, was that it, why you were at Southern that you read to the kids in, in the school? Uh, yes, ma'am. There's been multiple events. In high school, I got to do it and uh, just kind of like a mentor for some of the elementary school athletes. And then in college, um, there were appearances to um, just be a guest reader and hang out with the kids and uh, shed positive light. And um, and then here uh, out in San Francisco, there's uh, plenty of opportunities to help uh, the less fortunate. And um, so we have very cool opportunities to just help others. And um, people need people. And uh, so why not just shed positivity of uh, why you can? So that's kind of that how is, I've always viewed it. And, that so. is awesome. I know you're raised that way because I know I've got to know your daddy really well through Sherry. 
And I mean, when I see you, I see him. And so he has that same attitude and, and, and just, I was sitting with him two weekends ago and listening to him talk about you kids, you're all about to go on a, a trip. And I mean, I hated, I couldn't go. I was supposed to go, but this, this kind of morphed. I had to get back to it, but just the love I've seen in your family, it's just motivating for me because I know that you'll carry that on. So when you, when you, when you, your senior year, or when you, when you finished playing at Southern and you decided that you wanted to pursue possibly being a professional ball player um, in the, the bigger arena, tell me, tell me how you got to uh, San Francisco 49ers. How did that come about? Uh, well, I thought that I would get a chance, but I never knew how long it would last. Um, I borderline getting drafted. Uh, I didn't get drafted, but I still thought I was good enough to play. So I um, – signed as an undrafted free agent um, right after the draft of the San Francisco uh, 49ers. And um, and I knew they had liked me through the draft process. Um, I took a visit out here. And um, so just fortunate enough to sign with them. And then I just went through camp preseason. And uh, I was blessed that they kept me. And uh, so I spent all last year out here. Uh, I've been out here for about a year and a half. And uh, we start practice basically tomorrow. So um it's been a uh, dream come true, I guess you could say, and now I'm just trying to lengthen it out as long as I can. Hey, that is amazing. I mean, that's an amazing story. It just shows, you know, the hard work, the discipline that you went through from the time you started playing. And, you know, I'm sure you missed all kinds of things because you knew you had a dream, which was, hey, wait a minute. Okay, there. You knew you had a dream that you wanted to fulfill, and that takes a lot of hard work. I know watching whether – whatever field you're in, it takes commitment, it takes dedication. Um, one thing I absolutely loved about, about you too is you fell in love with a Mississippi girl who lives an hour and a half away from me, meaning I get to see my best friend Sherry and your dad more because they're, they're coming over here and seeing you. So tell us, tell us about that. And, and another thing that why I wanted to bring you in is because you could have bought a home anywhere in the nation, especially close out there to you, and you chose Hattiesburg to buy your home and, and be here and live here even after you're out in San Francisco. So tell us a little bit about how, how that came about and how Haley, I think Haley is absolutely precious. I think that the two of you, um, you're going to make a big difference in that town. You already are, but you've got a lot of great things coming that way. So tell me the story about you two. Yeah, uh, Haley is my wife and uh, love her to death. And uh, it's, it's awesome. You know, we're just living the young and married life right now, getting to do a lot of cool stuff. Um, have a little dog. He's a third part of our family. He's awesome. But uh, I yeah, saw him we, a few minutes we, ago. Uh, yeah, he's funny. He's, he's a character. But uh, me and Haley met um, in college, and uh, she is from Ocean Springs down on the Mississippi coast. Uh, I didn't know a lot about it, but uh, I've grown to really like it and appreciate it over the years. It's a great area, beautiful place. And yes. um, that goes for Mississippi as well. You know, uh, Alabama to my heart. <laughs> but uh, over these uh, over these past couple of years, I've really grown to um, appreciate Mississippi because of my wife. And uh, so, yeah, we, um, you know, after college, uh, got married last July. So we just um, passed our one year anniversary, which we got to celebrate at the beach, was which was exciting. Um, so, yeah. And then um, after the season, we decided to make Hattiesburg home. Uh, I'm from Birmingham. She's from Ocean Springs. Um, you know, and that's kind of had or yeah Hattiesburg has been our um just favorite place ever since we met um so yeah we just made that home it's a nice middle ground for us and um I actually got a Mississippi ID the other day she was giving me crap for it I was like I don't want to claim this but all right let's do it Um, are you serious you got your Mississippi license yes ma'am yeah so (laughs) um yeah so um yeah it's been great and uh, I couldn't be on this journey without her and um You know, we're a great young family, and uh, we just love uh, doing life together. Well, that is awesome, and it's a beautiful thing to watch. I watch you on Facebook. I follow you, you guys. I follow your career. When you do something, I'll post on Facebook and say, oh, my God, I'll tag Sherry and Martin. Did you see what Nick? Of course, they know, but I'm, you know, I'm watching it secondhand and and, and (laughs) talking back and forth to them. But um, if there's one thing that you could tell us besides that you were trying to decide if you wanted to be a professional juggler or a professional football player, <laughs> what would it be that you would want us to know? Oh man, uh, that's a that's an interesting question you just threw on me. But um, yeah, no, <laughs> she, she's she's referring to uh, yeah, we got to juggle in elementary school, and I've been able to do it ever since, and I like it. It's pretty cool. But um, 
I just I don't I don't know. I just go about my life, work hard, do the right things, um, make a lot of cool relationships uh, along the ride, and um, it leads to things like this. You know, just being able to um, you know share what I have to share and um, just uh, being thankful for the many blessings. You know, it's cool. It's a lot of fun, Absolutely. and uh, so I encourage other people to work hard, do the right thing. Well, I, I cannot thank you enough to be on for you to be on here. I look forward to watching your career as you continue to evolve. Like I said, I've watched you for eight years. Um, and when when Sherry told me that you were coming to US to USM, my home state, you know, I lived in Alabama for seventeen years. That's how I met Sherry. So she, Alabama is my second home. I was there for so long, and I still, like you say, cultivate the relationships, and I still go back and see many people that I love there. Mississippi is my home, though, like Haley, but um, we'll be watching you. We're excited for you. I know you start uh, the spring. Is it? Is it? What kind of training is it again that you start tomorrow? Uh, it's fall camp, so we're just fall going camp. into fall practice before the season starts, so it should be exciting. Yeah, we're excited, and we'll, we'll, we'll jump back in with you and do another segment with you as you get going along, maybe – January-ish, after it's over, we can kind of see where you are, what happened with you. We wish you well. I know you've got a lot of things in the, the, the pipeline, and um, it's just been a joy to watch you grow, like I said, as as a teenager into the man that you are, the godly man that you are. You, I mean, you're, you're living the dream, and that I love that quote, living the dream. You've got the career that you love. You have the wife. You have the sweet little dog, um, and we're just so thankful for stories like yours that – you know, you give people hope. These kids who are playing football and baseball and soccer and whatever it is, you know, people tell them all the time, find something else that you can love. And I'm sure you were told that along the way in case this doesn't pan out. But guess what? You give us hope because it, it can pan out. It panned out for you and it can for so many. So thank you for being the role model that you are. I really appreciate it. I thank you for coming on. We got kicking off SEC football, um, I guess, that maybe the last of August. When is your first preseason game? Yep, uh, August 9th. So we got uh, – August the 9th. Yeah, two weeks so of practice, and then we open up for preseason. So. Oh, wow. It's sooner than we thought. We're great. Well, we'll yep. be watching you, and, and thank you for coming on with us. I absolutely love you. I love your family. Happy anniversary. We wish you <laughs> well. You. Um, and I, I have to thank my sponsors for this, uh, for this vlog today. Pelican Cove is the place I've been going to for years. It's placement reservoir. We, I actually have a um, – SEC uh, college kickoff party every single year. This is like my eighth one that I've had. This is our third one at Pelican. They're one of the sponsors of this, and I absolutely love them. Our uh, kickoff party will be August the 30th. That's the first SEC college football game. I don't know who's playing, but we'll be there. We have a charity that we're going to be raising money for. I think it's going to be um, in the pet-related industry. We have a, a lady that has a um, – uh, business where she rescues dogs. I think that's where we're going to this time. So y'all keep keep um, in contact with us. We'll give y'all more information on that. Thank you so much for Juniper Jewelry. Oh my goodness. Listen, Nick, they have a heritage collection that they name after the cities of the, of Mississippi and, and they have one for Hattiesburg and I think they have one for Ocean Springs. FYI, great gift. Yeah. Um, they have their dogs. Nice. They have, yeah, they have their dogs this summer. Uh, dogs are, uh, Dog days of summer sale through August the 16th. They can pop in and say hello if they want to. We'd love to have somebody else. My, my, thank you my for roommate Calistoga. just popped in. <laughs> oh, they're popping in? Uh, yeah. Thank you for Calistoga uh, Wine and Spirits. If you haven't been there, go pop in and see Sean. He's uh, absolutely amazing. Kim Goodson, who is a, a realtor with Cry Like, phone number 601-853-3995. Y'all, she's a personal friend of mine, and she uh, she is hilarious when she shows you. It's not your normal experience looking at cars. And I could not do this without thanking Heather Land that I ain't doing it to her. She's the lady. They're touring in Jackson, Mississippi. Um, we're promoting her. Thank you for promoting and sponsoring this vlog with, uh, you know, I'm going to call you a second San Francisco 49ers quarterback, Nick Mullins. Thank you so much. Do your guys want to say hey to us? Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, he just left. Yeah, he just left. He's my roommate. Oh, darn. He, just got it. he just got in town. And, uh, oh, yeah, that's so. good. <laughs> Well, I, I hate we miss him. Until next time we do it, he can pop on and say hello, too. But thank you, Nick. Right. Love you. Wish you well. And um, we'll we'll continue to watch you. Yep. Thanks for having me on, for sure. We'll keep in touch. You're, you're welcome. And watch us around the town. You bet.